What's up everybody, it's Coding Jesus, and today we're going to be talking about Void in C++. Now, if you, if you are new to this channel, in this channel I like teaching various C++ concepts, syntax, language features, etc., and hopefully learn alongside of you guys. So without further ado, let's jump into the code. Okay, so as you can see here, we have Godbolt open. Of course, we're using Godbolt because Godbolt makes us look a lot smarter than we actually are. So let's go ahead and learn what Void is. To put it very simply, Void is, is actually quite simple. Void means no type. It means no return type uh, in its most practical form. So in a function that you might have, let's say called return one, where you might return an integer as such, a comparable void function might be as follows. Void print hello world. Okay, we take in nothing. And we don't actually return anything here. We only print something to the screen. So we do something like this. We print hello world. Okay, so this is a function that takes in nothing, does something, whatever you want it to do, in this case, prints hello world, and returns nothing. We can also add a return here to show that we are ending the function, we're returning from the function. But even if this return isn't here, we will end, of course, at this bracket at the end of the function. So this doesn't have to be here. It's nice if you have it there, but it doesn't have to be there. Okay, if you do have it here and you decide to, of course, write something below here, like you'll never see this. You actually won't ever see this being printed to the screen, of course, because we're returning before this actually executes. So this will actually never execute. It's code that will never be reached. It's unreachable code, okay? So that's void in a nutshell. Now there's also another use case for void in C++, albeit it's deprecated. So in C, of course, C++ is backwards compatible with C. In C, what we do sometimes or what we do all the time, if we want to pass in a, or we want to pass in nothing to a function, we do this. This signifies that we want to pass in nothing to the function. Now we can do this in C++, it will compile, but it's deprecated and you don't want to do it. By deprecated, I mean, it will make you look stupid. So don't do this, nobody does this in C++, but it's still possible, it will compile. Okay, now let's look at another place or way that you can use void. Okay, so we mentioned that void is a type, right? It, it's a type that pretty much says no type, which means you can look at it as kind of like an incomplete type. So traditionally, if you want to, let's say, default initialize an integer or value initialize an integer, what you do is this, int a equals int, right? This will value initialize a to zero. And we can go ahead and check that that actually happens. So as you can see here, zero is printed to the screen. Void, all bait that represents no type, is also still a type. So while void is a special case, it can still be value initialized. So for example, as we saw, we can return nothing from this print hello world function. But we can also value initialize void and return it as such. Okay, so this is still valid, right? So these are the three use cases for void. Void is a type. It is a special type, an incomplete type. It can be used as a return value, meaning we're returning nothing. It can be passed in as a parameter, meaning in C that nothing is being passed into this function. Don't do this in C++. Or you can use it at, in a return statement to return a value initialized void, okay? Nobody does this, by the way. So nobody, I've never seen this in the wild where somebody will return a value initialized void. But just so you know, it is possible. Okay guys, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, subscribe. I like making these videos. I like teaching and hopefully I can learn in the process as well. If you didn't like this video, double tap the thumbs down button. And just once again, guys, subscribe. I look forward to making more content for you. I hope you enjoyed. Cheers.